So in yesterday's web dev tip, we took a look at how you can encode a string by replacing certain characters, certain special characters, with their equivalent escape sequence uh, of characters. And what you might end up is, with is a string that looks a little bit like this. So here we've got an encoded URL, and you might just be able to make out that this is a uh, search to Google, but you can see a lot of the characters have been replaced uh, with their escape sequences. So we're probably going to need to decode these sorts of strings at some point, and unsurprisingly, there is a function to do that for us. So we can just say decode URA component and just pass it in the string that we want to uh, get the readable version of. So here you can see we've got this uh, Google search uh, and you can see some of these uh, special characters such as the question mark, uh, the colon and the forward slashes uh, were all replaced with these escape sequences here. So that's all you pretty much need to know about the decode URI component function. It takes one of these escaped or encoded sequences and then just gives you back the readable version. Uh, so if you needed to put that onto the page that the user is viewing, uh, then obviously uh, this will do the job for you. There is also an equivalent uh, function to yesterday's encode URI component that we saw, um, but it doesn't actually do what you expect it might do. Because you can see the output on the right hand side isn't quite what we'd expect to see, but you might remember from yesterday that the encode URI function uh, didn't encode as many characters as the encode URI component function. And this is particularly true for the decode URI function as well. Uh, when we would decode the URI component function, when that's used, uh, we get the full URI back but you can see a lot of the escape sequences haven't been removed here in fact I think the only one that has been removed uh, is this percent 20 which represents a space but if you do have different special characters say from different alphabets and different letter sets uh, then this decode URI function will actually pick those up and decode them but as you can see this doesn't do the full URL uh, transfer and, and changing it back to a, a normal looking URL. You need the decode URI component function uh, if you want to do a full conversion. So there you go, there's the decode URI and decode URI component functions in JavaScript. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.